What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, Jarrell here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a couple items I was able to receive from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Now I wasn't there personally. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to make it out there yet. I'll look into next year, we'll see how it goes. But Josh's parents were recently there in California in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and they asked me before they left, is there anything I would like? I gave them a list of some items that I saw in Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities that I would definitely like. They were able to grab me two of those. A couple of the other items were sold out, out of stock due to the high popularity, but that's okay. I'll see if I can find them on eBay if they're not too overly priced, which sometimes they are. But the Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities has anything that you could possibly desire. Cloaks, holocrons, Sith tokens, lightsabers, anything you can think of, they have it. And I cannot wait to grab more items from there. So the first items I'm gonna show you are the amazing Thermal detonator Coke bottles. Now these were banned by the TSA uh, a few weeks ago when they were released. The TSA does not, the, the TSA basically bans any items that simulate an, an explosive device, which these technically kind of do. Not really, it's based off a fictional universe, but whatever. But here's the Coke bottle. So within like a week or so ago, the TSA also lifted that ban. So now you can actually bring these back in your checked luggage. So that is really cool that they're not just saying, nope, if you can't take these back ever unless you live in Florida or live in California and you have to drive back home. But they did lift the ban, so that's really cool. So here's the Coke bottle. Uh, they don't have any liquids in there. They drained them out for me. And here is the Sprite bottle. Sprite bottle, actually, it looks really, really cool. Sorry for the glare. But uh, yeah, the Sprite bottle looks really cool. There's also a Diet Coke. And there's also a Decini, a Decini water bottle, but the Decini water bottle it does not is not a thermal detonator. It's just a water bottle that has the cool Star Wars language on there that says Decini. So thank you so much for these. These are absolutely really cool. The next item, guys, is a Jedi mug. Look at this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get this up here so you guys can see it properly. Look how beautiful that is. And I'm gonna see how close I can get so you can see that. Look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. Just the, how they made that. I just, absolutely amazing. They have the Jedi, the Jedi Order symbol right here. And there, pretty sweet. Anything on the inside? Nope. So yeah, this is actually really cool. This is one thing I asked for. I think this was $27.99. You can find these on eBay right now roughly for the same price, probably a little bit more, maybe even $20, $30 more. Unfortunately, that's just how eBay goes, but this is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna drink anything out of this. I kinda want to, like a nice beer, but yeah, we'll see. Let me put this over here. All right, guys, so the main item, the main item I was looking for is the Luke Skywalker Legacy Return of the Jedi lightsaber. Cannot wait to check this out. So. It comes in this amazing display case, which you guys can see here. And there are other legacy lightsabers as well. There's Darth Vader, there's Rey's lightsaber, which is technically Anakin Skywalker's and Luke's lightsaber. There's uh, Darth Maul, there's Mace Windu, and I think there might be a couple others, but they all come in a case like this. They'll have a different symbol here for the uh, the Rebels and the uh, the Order and the, the, the Empire as well. So. You press this here, and da, 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 da. that looks absolutely amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God, absolutely amazing. Let's get her out of here, and let's take a look at this saber. Oh my God. I had been wanting to get the Luke Skywalker Return of the Lightsaber. We turned the Jedi Lightsaber for some time. And man, it looks absolutely amazing. So that's where the speak that's where the speaker sounds come out. It does hold three AAA batteries. And uh, where you do turn it on is right here. This just flicks up and down. So this right here is the display. This whole piece comes off. Now I'll show you what's inside of the case here. So if you want to have a blade and hear the sounds and do some dueling, this is what you're gonna need. So this actually just flips up. And as you can see, there's the other big piece right here. 
take that out. So here it is. Here's the other big piece, as you guys can see. A lot bigger than the previous one. So here they are. So this just unscrews on top, and I'll show you here in just a second. So on the bottom, this is where you unscrew to get to the batteries. So here's the battery container. And as you guys can see, it's got three AAA batteries in here. Now you will have to, from what I've seen, you will have to take these screws out in order to get the batteries out. That's all right. So we'll put the batteries back in here. Screw this back on. All right, so sorry for the loud squeaking. From what I've seen in other reviews, there's this thing squeaks quite a bit. Ah. So that piece comes off. That's a display piece. We'll set that down for the moment. Here's the bigger piece. So this is for, like I said, if you have a blade you want to use for dueling, but it is required to hear the sound effects. Now, I do have a blade. I purchased this, purchased this earlier because I knew I was going to be getting, uh, I knew I was going to be getting this. So here is the 26 inch blade. It comes in 26 inches, 31 inches, and I believe uh, maybe 15 to 16, or maybe it jumps up to 40, I can't remember. But I was able to grab this off of eBay for about 30 bucks. I think they go for maybe about 34, $35. So let's grab this. And as you can see, here's the blade. So when you enter this, when you put this in, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll place it in and then you'll twist, but you'll hear a nice little cool noise to let you know that it's on and it's act that it's in and activated. So I'll let you guys hear it. Did you guys hear that? One more time. And one more time. All right. So it's in, it's secure, it's ready to go. And let us activate the, the beautiful lightsaber. Hopefully you guys can see the green. If not, I'll see if I can change some things around so you see it. So, oh, wow. Woo! Wow. I'll hold it up here so you guys can hear it. Here we go. Sounds exactly like the movies. Check this out. And it does have some sound effects. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it crackle there. It's actually pretty sweet. Let me see if I can uh, get it a little bit darker for you guys really quick. A little bit better? That's a little bit better. Yeah, you can kind of see it. That's actually really cool. Yeah, so absolutely amazing. I am so excited to have this. So amazing. Wow. So sweet. <laughs> oh man. So thank you so much for Sharon and Steve for grabbing me these items. I truly appreciate it. Um, I probably will have this mostly in the display, so it'll stay. Uh, you can leave it in the case and have it on display. Like I said, I'm, I'm wanting to grab a couple more of these, wanting to grab Lay's, Ray's lightsaber, excuse me, which is technically Anakin's and Luke's first lightsaber. Definitely the Darth Vader, I want that. Um, I've seen Darth Maul's, Darth Maul looks really sweet, uh, but I'd have to also get another blade in order to have that one. But so many items in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, I cannot wait to hopefully try to make it out there. So let me know in the comments your thoughts. Have you guys made it out to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge yet? What items have you picked up? Please let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more videos of any Star Wars Galaxy's Edge items I get and hopefully next year when I make it out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave the video a quick like and I'll see you guys next time.